Hello there. Our UK Christian heritage has been lambasted, trivialised, ridiculed and denigrated, and it is now in the process of being replaced, all at the behest of our very own establishment. If you think the UK is nominally a Christian country, then think again. Because the leaders of the very capital city of the UK and England, London, have erased Christianity from their formal proceedings. As evidenced by the total replacement of Easter 2024 with the Ramadan celebrations. With the associated lights being ceremoniously switched on by Sadiq Khan, the London Mayor. If you go on the londoncityhall.gov.uk website and search for Ramadan 2024, you get information about Ramadan and Eid this year. But putting Easter 2024 into the City Hall website just returns references to Easter events long since past, and the best you can get is an external link to visit London. As far as I can see, Easter 2024 has been erased from the London City Hall itinerary. I doubt we'll see much of anything from Sadiq Khan and his fellow politicians about Easter. I shall watch his Twitter account to see if anything does surface in the next few days. Easter is the most important religious period for any truly Christian country because it signifies the rising of Christ from the dead. Now, had Ramadan been effectively cancelled, the response would have been ferocious, possibly involving a rampage. But effectively cancelling Easter? Not a peep from the people. And the thinking therefore goes that if supposedly Christian people don't care enough to protect their own heritage and beliefs, then another believer will step in to fill the spiritual void and more. Yes, they will eagerly step into more voids as we continually step back to avoid being thought of as racist or bigoted. We are the ones that have thus far meekly stepped back to allow others to now control our agenda. Just look at that Gaza ceasefire vote that took place in our parliament just last month. Don't tell me our politicians felt in charge over that period. You could almost taste their fear. London is no longer the capital city of England or the UK. It is now a foreign globalist city from which a globalist open borders UK will be created. A place where the only unwelcome thing will be the traditional British way of life and its traditional people. Why do you think there is now a heavy, concerted attack on the racist UK countryside? The rest of the country will be assimilated into the London way of doing things. We will all live in a place that is as safe as London. Except for the incessant sharp object insertion epidemic and the replacing of retail shops with the come and get everything for free shoplifting outlets London seems to be suffering from. And the further we step back from our traditional norms, the more we shed our Christian heritage. It is an inevitability. As an example, have our Church of England hierarchy taken a stand and demanded of the Mayor that Easter be observed properly in our once capital city? even if it does this year clash with Ramadan? Have they organised a protest march to make their feelings known? Or have they too given up the ghost and decided that if you can't beat them, then join them? Well, that's what it looks like to me. They seem more intent on handing over the pulpit in their churches to every other faith on the planet. They are the ones weakening and killing off Christianity in the UK. In fact, it would appear that the eventual aim for them is to somehow merge the religions so in time we end up with one global faith. Probably with one global government. 
Although if they want that, they'll have to get the Sunnis and the Shias to work together with the Hindus and Christians and with the likes of ISIS, etc. Even our Easter eggs are being rebranded as something called gesture eggs. Yes, at least one Cadbury's egg outlet is advertising them as such. Despite Cadbury's saying it's nothing to do with them. Despite their logo appearing on the advert. But who would rebrand Easter eggs in the UK? Those who dislike our religion, maybe. Or those who are frightened that someone might take offence unpeacefully. And it's not for the first time. Easter has come under woke fire before. There have been previous attempts to call Christmas Winterval and turn Easter into Spring Festival. How many more backward steps are we going to be expected to take? If you're white and Christian with traditional Christian values, you can forget it. Anyone identifying with that will by now be on an MI5 watch list. But our exploding demographic will be allowed to do whatever they want, especially where they are concentrated in places like London. And you only need to look at the pro-Palestine marches to understand that our police officers have lost control of the streets. In fact, they've just about given up. Unless you are an easy pro-Israel target or you hold up a placard that truthfully says that Hamas is a terrorist organisation. A Christian can be ordered not to pray in public or even be arrested for it, even if the police are wrong. But the police would never ever try that with a different demographic, would they? For fear of the consequences. And I will remind you that the Batley teacher and his family have now been in hiding for three years, something that we have to tolerate. Our excessive UK tolerance is leading to the intolerable. And I fear that the patience of the UK silenced majority is near breaking point. While the silenced majority are being berated for their white privilege and their so-called history of slavery, all adding insult to injury. So I fear that the backlash by the silenced majority will be severe, very severe. And I don't want to speculate too much on that, because civil war is never pleasant, and this will not just be isolated to Britain, but also across Europe. And it might be the French or the Irish that will be the first to light the spark that could spread across all Western nations. But it's all OK, folks, because according to the pundits, there's now a 99% certainty that Keir Starmer's Labour Party will form a new government soon. A new government with well over 100 seat majority behind it and they will save the day for traditional British values. Won't they? Well, given that Sadiq Khan is likely to remain the Labour Mayor of London as well as having a Labour Party in power that appears to have a new preferential demographic, I'm not so sure that our British heritage is in safe hands. In fact, I'm convinced it is not in safe hands. Especially as Starmer and his sidekick, Angela, I'm not showing you my council house sale capital gains tax details, Rayner, have declared that they're going to hand over even more power to what they call local leaders. Why didn't they say councillors or mayors, for example? Maybe they're setting up a whole new tranche of leaders under their proposed Take Back Control Act. Take back control. I fear they will just give control away to local leaders who might end up wanting to follow a different set of laws to the rest of us. And this new Take Back Control Act might give those leaders just that power. And I would bet that the average Brit won't get back much control either. And it won't take long for people to realise that Labour has sold them a dud. And it's no good moaning. Our politicians no longer listen to complaints. They only react to actions, as we have now seen. 
And writing to your MP and expecting a meaningful reply is now a fool's errand. If the ordinary silenced majority Brit wants to save the country they love, they are going to have to do a lot more than just sit and gripe. Because once it's gone, it's gone. And there's an old adage, a five-word adage. Use it or lose it.